In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I am setting up this device and how I'm using it. The Plaxter. This is a device that uh, people use to remove skin tags, moles, uh, but also to help reduce the appearance of wrinkles. And the difference between this device and some other cheaper alternatives is that this device actually releases plasma arc in comparison to just electrical arc. So as you can see, here is the power button and here you can see the left side is for basically fibroblasting wrinkles here on the right side this side is for removing tattoos skin tags and moles so i'm gonna keep it on this side and here is the action button basically after you turn it on when you're ready you just press this button but first you obviously have to charge it and i charge it for a few hours, there's a charger attached. Where is it? Here. Here's a charger. It comes with a plug if you, you know, need it. And it also comes with different needles. These are the thin needles, and this is the thick needle. And they say that like this one is the best for removing tattoos, moles, and skin tags. But I am gonna be using the fine needle uh, for skin tags. So this is the thick needle up close and this is the thin needle after the treatment you want to make sure that you're protecting your skin from the sun so obviously use the spf and don't tan at least the, not the area that you are working with so uh, that's why this is a pretty good treatment to do in winter but if you do it in summer obviously make sure to protect your skin and since it's summer so i'm only gonna be working with areas that i'm not gonna be basically exposing the sun mostly removing some skin tags under my armpits some here so whenever i go out obviously a lot of sunscreen and yeah i'm gonna skip the parts that i still want to work with but I want to make sure that they are protected so I'm gonna just wait a few months any sun exposure for 12 weeks and any scabs that will appear do not scrape them off let it heal just your skin whenever it's ready the scabs will come off for me it was around seven days I, I believe it was like exactly a week after and they start to come off but yeah for everyone it's different I think it takes from any anywhere from like seven to ten days and of course wear your spf uh, ideally 50 and avoid saunas avoid any sun beds sun tanning for 12 weeks make sure that your skin is dry before the treatment and make sure like your towels and your bedding is clean so after the treatment or just before the treatment make sure to wash your bedding towels and anything that like you're gonna be wearing if you're gonna be wearing a scarf like of course wash it too make sure that it's all clean and sterile and they do advise to use colloidal silver to just spray the treated area like one two times a day when i first did it i i actually never did it like i didn't need it but i was using a special a scar cream that my doctor recommended so that's what i was using and worked for me i didn't have any infection none of that so i'm gonna link all the products that i used before after the treatment that worked for me and i can recommend let's just get into it now before we get started i want to make it clear that while i'm sharing my personal experience i'm not a medical professional and this video should not be taken as a medical advice here's our needle and i also got some alcohol wipes to um, disinfect the area that I will be treating. Here's our device. It's currently powered off. Turn it on. When you press this, the light should come on. So it's now on and now it's off. Yep. I also wash my hands. You can also use gloves if it's easier for you. So here's the needle. I'm trying to show this properly. You put this just like like so then you screw it on so you want to screw this fully so it's on okay and then you're gonna kind of wiggle the stop off just like so if it's easier for you you can also bend this needle slightly but for me I think I'm gonna leave it as it is so let's turn it on and see yep it's on here is uh, some lemon we can 
uh, test out this device on and what's important is you do not want to touch the needle to your skin like it's a no no move it slightly so it's close to the skin but it's not touching so here i'm gonna turn it on see And it's only releasing the arc when you press on it and when the needle is close to the object. So if you press it like this, it's not gonna do anything. Uh, you're not touching anything, you're just getting it close. If you touch it to your skin, it may cause some scarring. That's why it's so important that you keep it away from the face. And I'll do it on the skin. I'm gonna disinfect the area that I'm gonna be treating. You just want this area that you're gonna be treating uh, obviously clean <laughs> um, but you don't want it to be wet so just wait a little bit here is treated skin tuck as you can see it's darker okay let's move to the next one I gotta say, it's a lot more uncomfortable than I remember, but it's been a while, it's been a few months, so it's doable. Okay, I'm getting used to it. <laughs> the first few tries were very uncomfortable, and now it's like, okay, now I know what to expect. It's amazing to see it disappear. I tackled multiple skin tags. Now we can turn off the device. So, yep, it's not lining up. Um, and remove the needle. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna wash uh, my sheets, my towels. Also use the alcohol wipe to just, um, just go one more time. special cream so this is a soothing cream it really helps because this area is very sensitive right now <laughs> It's exactly a week after the treatment and pretty much yesterday I started to notice that all the scabs came off. There's maybe like that little one, but it's just so little like it looks so much better. And also, I'm gonna show you of course some clips, but basically I did miss a few skin tags that are kind of like on my back, I can feel it here. Like I was not able to see it just looking like here i have to like actually have a mirror so 
there's another video coming. My only thought after the last one is that since I waited a few months since my last treatment to do this one, I forgot how uncomfortable the, the treatment is. Like after a few skin tags, I, I was like, okay, I remember this, not too bad. But the first time I was like, oh, that's weird. So just something to remember. Like it doesn't like for me, it didn't it doesn't really hurt me but it's just very uncomfortable because like obviously it's like a zip zip and also the smell burning smell so it's like am i doing something wrong <laughs> but that's just that's just the, the side effects of the treatment that's just what you experience during it it's not the most pleasant it's not a spa it's not a massage so obviously that's just something to remember because I honestly forgot. I remember all the nice side effects, like, you know, getting rid of the, the skin tags and seeing the results. And I forgot that the whole process is not the most comfortable thing ever, but I did. I think I counted it was over 30 skin tags that I did on my armpits. So I was a lot. And obviously if you do like, when I did my neck, there was a ton of skin tags on my neck. So the whole area was very sensitive. And for the, the night that I did the skin tags on my armpits, that area was sensitive. So the next day I, I didn't really feel that much pain, but definitely the first night, the first few hours, it was very sensitive. And I did apply the one of the creams that I used like after my latest treatment for, for skin tags and it did soothe my skin immediately it's the thick one the very oily cream so i think it's partially that's why the next day i didn't feel any pain any discomfort because i applied that cream it's still mind-blowing to me that there is that treatment for skin tags i've been doing some treatments that like they were the ones with the freezing with the bands and both of them were pain in the butt because it took over 30 days to get the scabs to come off so for me, it's very much like it's mind blowing that it only takes six to seven days and the scabs are off and like I can now shave, no problem. Like it's still so amazing. Like not to mention the treatment also takes a lot less time. And when I was doing the freezing, like two people were needed because my husband, like he had to like see the, the skin that he was touching with the freezing device and the same with the, the bands, like two people were needed to do the treatment. With this device, I can do it myself and it takes a lot less time. Plus, like I see results so much faster, so. And I think uh, this is actually cheaper too, considering how many skin tags I tackle because the freezing device only was good for 10 skin tags. So I wouldn't be able to even finish one of my armpits because I tackled over 30 skin tags. They were you know, some of them very tiny. So the band, the device that, you know, puts bands on base of the skin tag would not work because it has to be a bigger skin tag for that device. And for the freezing one, it would also not work because you have to grab the skin tag with like little, you know, thingy. So yeah, this is just so much better. But that's it. Again, if you have any questions, leave them again down below in the uh, comments and don't forget to check out the description box i'm gonna link the device that i used in the description box and yeah thank you so much for watching bye, -bye.